Good morning and praise the Lord. We thank God for guiding and leading us throughout this week. My name is Reverend Leah. I have been with you since Monday in sharing this week's homilies. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your kindness, for your goodness, for your faithfulness. Thank you for journeying with us since Monday and teaching us more about your revelation of yourself as our healer. Lord, I pray that you continue to heal your people, even as you build their faith through your word this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this week, we have been focusing on Jehovah Rapha, our healer. And today, our topic is thanking God for healing. In Psalm chapter 1 or 3 verse, actually 1 to 3, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Now this week we have focused on the Lord, our healer. He heals us of our physical, spiritual, and emotional illnesses. What illness has the Lord healed you from this week? The psalm we have just read reminds us to worship God and to thank him. The word bless is used here to mean praise with strong affection. And David was calling upon his soul to actually praise the Lord. When you bless the Lord, you are praising him. And of course, you are worshiping him. And many times when the Lord does something for us, we bow down and we worship him and we thank him. It's not possible to thank God without worshiping him for his goodness and his kindness to you. Indeed, the Lord has healed us from spiritual sickness by forgiving our sins and granting us salvation and eternal life. Did you remember to thank him for that? He has healed our souls. Whenever it is that you have struggled with one thing or another, one emotion or another, and God has given you peace regarding that situation, he brought healing. When we cry out to him, he actually remembers us and he comes to our aid. We read that Psalm chapter 34, verse 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and he actually heals or binds up our broken uh, spirits. So the Lord has healed us already. He has healed us of physical illnesses. And when he does not, it does not look like he has healed us. Please remember that when you don't have disease, you already are experiencing God's healing because he can either heal you when you actually have a disease or prevent you, like he promised the children of Israel, when he prevents you from getting an illness. Already he is God, your healer. And so our thanks then would include our worship and praising him for his goodness and his mercies. And a thankful heart, my dear brothers and sisters, acknowledges our dependence on God, that we cannot do without him, that we need him, that we want him in our lives. Number two, a thankful heart is what God loves. He loves it when we worship him. He loves it when we praise him. It pleases him when we give thanks to him. Luke chapter 17, and I want us to read that. Verse 11 to 19 says, Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into the village, ten men who had been 
had leprosy met him, they stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go, show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were healed or they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he, the Bible tells us, was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Many times we, the children of God, are the ones who are ungrateful. God does so many things to us because he is our father and he loves us. But many times we don't even acknowledge what he has done for us. We only focus on what we are looking for and desiring. And many times we don't even thank him for where he has brought us from. My brothers, my sisters, I want to encourage us this morning. Change the way you approach God regarding your illness, if you are unwell, both physically, spiritually, or emotionally. Instead of just crying out to God for healing, why don't you praise the Lord? Did you know God gives us victory when we praise him? When we approach him with an attitude of worship and praise regarding our situation, even when we don't mention it, he does heal us. And I want to encourage us this morning to consider that you can actually receive your healing with the attitude of a thankful heart. May the Lord help us not to have an ungrateful heart when all we do when we are in stressful, distressing situations is to grumble. May the Lord instead help us to have a thankful heart, both when things are going well and even when things are difficult. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, this week we have been reminded that you are God, our healer. And we know that your power to heal is present. And we don't have to complain about our situation. We just have to approach you with thanksgiving and healing will be ours. Because we know without a doubt that you are God, our healer. Lord, I pray for anyone who has any sort of sickness, physical illness. Heal them today, O oh God. Anyone who is emotionally wounded, they are bitter because of a situation that they are in. Lord, would you heal them? Help them to overcome the pain that they are going through. Anyone, Lord, who is present and is wishing that you would forgive them their sins. Lord, would you heal them of their spiritual sickness by forgiving their sins as they choose to turn to you. Heal us today, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and be with you. Goodbye.